Hey everybody, it's uh, meteorologist Brad Penders with, with SkiSoutheast.com and get excited. We got a winter storm just as we talked about earlier last week that this was going to be an amazing setup for Northwest Flow. And I get amped up because Northwest Flow is, is a great event all the time, but this is like a Northwest Flow event on steroids. And for the first big storm of the season, it's kind of nice to see this coming together. So here's a look at the radar tonight. A couple things you notice. Now, Northwest Flow Snow, if you follow me at all or you ski at all in the Southeast, you know our friend every cold front brings us northwest flow snow sometimes it's a dusting sometimes a couple inches sometimes they're over producers and this has definitely got all the potential to be an over producer because unlike some of the uh, past events where we just get a cold front we've got a couple things going on here one you can see the spin so we've got an upper level low we've already got moisture there's tons of moisture already at the surface and the great lakes early in the season are wide open and warm so once the flow comes around to the northwest we're going to pick up some long range lake effect snow which is gonna beef up our total. So you get lift, you get moisture, you get upper level support, and you get lake enhancement. All of that spells great news for some snow. And it's already starting to move into West Virginia, Virginia, and North Carolina here. It's really gonna pick up through the overnight hours. And I'm, I'm getting super excited to see some of these totals because it's a really complex setup. And for the first couple days of December, it's nice to see this kind of come to fruition. Snow will crank up late tonight into early Monday. So if you're watching this Monday morning, this started around midnight-ish uh, last night. It will continue through tonight and into Tuesday morning. And it looks like another little wave of moisture comes in on Wednesday into Thursday, especially for the West Virginia resort. So let's get to the good details. How much snow are we talking about? Well, I'll start first with North Carolina. Uh, we'll show you these totals because I'm getting excited for these. I have a peak by peak setup here. So down in the Smokies, 8 to 12 inches again. Um, Catalucci's going to get some snow, but the, the best is always right over there in the Smokies. Wouldn't it be great if we could ski Mount Lacan? Oh, that'd be awesome. Uh, the big resorts, obviously, we're talking about Beach and Sugar Mountain. There you are, right, right in this area. You can see them kind of popping up. So there's Beach and Sugar Mountain kind of sticks out like a sore thumb right there so you're looking at a six to eight inch range but i think the top of beach could get close to eight to twelve if we get lucky um appalachian you're probably looking at maybe uh, one to three four inches you know kind of between boone and blowing rock might get lucky with four inches but uh, th this is going to be favored near the tennessee line but this is dynamic enough that snow showers will make it to the eastern facing slopes it's just going to be really enhanced going to the west we go up into west virginia winter place will get probably two to four inches obviously snowshoe Timberline, Canaan Valley, up Canaan Valley, excuse me, all the way up to Wisp. You're talking about all the resorts here getting a pretty good so, uh, dose of snow here. But then I think the thing about uh, West Virginia and the Virginia resorts is, especially West Virginia, we could see a second surge of moisture coming in Wednesday and Thursday. And the bullseye again is right there over snowshoes. So right there in the center of Pocahontas County. Um, that bullseye right there is around 12 to 14 inches. So this will be a pretty impressive setup. You can see the, the actually trace this back to Lake Michigan. You can see some of these bands that are actually going to be forming. And some of these coming off of Lake Huron and Lake, um, Lake Erie will actually intersect down here. So this is the perfect trajectory for this enhancement and the upper level system that will bring in the snow. So here's a quick look at the forecast for this week. And again, we've got both snow making and man-made snow capabilities early this week. I think at night in particular, Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be able to make snow. And notice I have another snowflake on Thursday because I, I think there'll be another wave of snow possibly moving into West Virginia, Virginia and Maryland. So awesome setup, folks. I can't be more excited for this. I wish I was going skiing. Um, I'm actually working this week, but man, if you can get away <laughs> and head to some of the resorts in the southeast, this is going to be some great early season skiing. It's already been off to a great start because of the cold temperatures. And now here's December and more snow on the way. Enjoy the snow. Please tweet at me if you get some reports. Make sure you send them to skisoutheast.com. They love to get them as well. And as always, think snow, everybody.